to me about how you even came onto this story. Why were you brought in as a, as a private investigator? I got hired by a show called Hard Copy. And uh, the producer wanted me to go along for some reason. And when I went to the house during the interview, uh, I was fortunate enough to have the real Nicholas Barclay's photograph sitting right by me. And the imposter was being interviewed. I noticed that the, the real Nicholas Barclay had blue-gray eyes. The imposter's eyes were brown. And I asked the cameraman to zoom in on his ears. His it's ears, a, It's a technique Scotland Yard uses uh, mm -hmm. to identify people. Uh, the ear is the only part of the human body that doesn't age. Hmm. And I knew if I could compare the ears, I could, I could know what I had here. So I got to uh, my office, compared the ears, and I knew instantly I had an imposter. Prior uh, to that, did you have a gut feeling that something was off? Or no? Kind of, but, but, uh, but not really. Not till I got, got to looking there. I was able to see him and the boy and knew there was a huge difference. How did you get past the eye thing? Well, the eye test, what happened is he claimed that he had, a, had chemicals injected into his eyes by his captors. I telephoned an ophthalmology school. They said it's just not possible. They said right. it's not possible. Now, now, throughout this whole, before and after, you had kind of gotten a few of, of his ears. The family really wanted, wants to believe in this, throughout this whole thing, that this man is Nicholas, is their son, is their brother. Why did you, you could not shake these lingering questions, though. Why yeah. was it? Because the family was really ready to accept this. One thing we've learned in our business is teenagers are changelings. Mm, it's true. Every day they look different. One mm. day they're a rock star. The next day they look like they're a, a computer nerd working for <laughs> Apple. So we know that. And uh, I, think, I think they overlooked a lot of that. I really do. I think they, uh, it, it, as you'll see in the movie, I don't want to give anything away, but you'll see that, that, uh, that he disguises himself. He dyed his hair, you know, at, as the boy did. He claimed that his accent was what he was told to do. He was told he couldn't speak English. It, it is a really well-produced film, and, and really the cinematography really contributes to the intrigue as you're going along. Yeah. I'm, this is a fascinating case. Have you ever seen anything like this no, in I your... Career. On a one to ten, it's a ten. 